Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what are square roots. Now, when we're looking for the square root of a given number, we need to think about what number multiplied by itself gives us that given number. That may not make any sense now, but after our examples, you'll see exactly what I mean. So let's jump into number one, where we have a three and a nine. Before we talk about square roots, let's talk about squaring a number. Squaring a number means we have an exponent of two. That means we multiply the number by itself. For example, three squared means three times three. So let's do this. Three squared means three times three which gives us nine, right? Three squared equals nine. Now let's start with that nine and do the opposite or inverse of squaring a number. And that's going to be taking the square root. So let's start with nine and take the square root. So that's going to give us, well, the square root of nine. Let's think about what number multiplied by itself will equal the number under the square root symbol. This is the square root symbol there, also known as the root symbol or radical symbol. Well, we know three times three equals nine, so the square root of nine is three. Think about it. We know three times three equals nine. So a number times itself equals the number under the square root symbol. So the square root of nine equals three. Let's move on to number two and try another one. So five squared, five times five equals 25. Let's start with 25 and take the square root. So the square root of 25. What number times itself equals 25? Well, we know five times five equals 25, so the square root of 25 equals five. Five times five equals 25. A number times itself gives us the number under the square root symbol. So again, the square root of 25 equals five. Let's move on to numbers three and four, and we're just going to take the square root of these numbers. So for number three, we have the square root of four. Well, we know two times two equals four. Two times two equals four. A number times itself equals the number under the square root symbol. So the square root of four equals two. That's our final answer. And lastly, number four, we have the square root of 36. Well, we know six times six equals 36. A number times itself equals the number under the square root symbol. So the square root of 36 equals six. So there you have it. There are some examples of square roots and a basic explanation. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.